Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another She-Hulk reaction video. Alright, we have arrived at the finale at long last. Um, this has been uh, quite a ride of a show and, you know, I felt like for a lot of people the last episode was the strongest episode. I do think that it had a lot of good elements in it together overall. Um, Though I really enjoyed a lot of the other earlier episodes too, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just looking forward to seeing how they're gonna wrap this all up and what what direction this is gonna indicate the character is going to be going in in the future. Um, is it just gonna be, you know, future uh, comedic sort of stories, whether it be on the show itself or films, or is she gonna transition more into like the Marvel verse as a whole and interacting with other characters in like their films and more dramatic things and I have no idea so I'm assuming that to the end of the season will kind of give us a hint in the direction that they're going so looking forward to seeing what they're gonna do don't want to waste any more time with it so let's just get into the episode accidental dose of gamma radiated blood alters her body chemistry oh my god The creature is driven by rage. This is and so cool! It's like... Trolls. Okay, so this is super funny. So they're doing it like the classic, like, Hulk TV show sort of aesthetic. And I actually really loved that. That was... Mm? Yes. Okay. They've got her locked up in the abomination okay. cage. It seems like a bit of an exaggeration for just destruction of property. All right. Permanently barred Jennifer Walters so, transforming into her she -Hulk. A neighbor who wished So the assholes completely win in the fact that she can't be she hulk She has to wear that monitor. She lost her fucking job. So the asshole intels win? No. Obviously this has to be fixed. Intelligentsia is made up of exclusively dumb dudes. One of these guys <laughs> is going to slip up and they're going to give us enough information so that we can track them down and then we will find them and we will destroy Wait, them. That's a solid point. By any and all means. Legally. I said by any and all means. No, yeah, I, agree. I am going to sue them no, for defamation and, all means. and invasion of privacy and get them charged with un <laughs> was. But never again. Which I know is what I said I wanted. Literally never again because she smashed like this isn't even a reluctant superhero story. I'm just getting screwed up. Yeah. Is this what you guys want? Like Jennifer Walters is a woman at a new low. She has no more no, fighting. No, we're not her. doing a narrator. <laughs> we're not cut off the rails. I can be the only one. <laughs> Please don't make me do this. You have to. All right. I need you to blend in with these trolls, okay? And remember to always refer to women as females. <laughs> Jen's life is on the line, okay? So I need you to get your head oh. in the game, buddy! He's like, how am I gonna go in there amongst these... Ugh. Coming in real choppy. Don't pretend like you can't hear me! Isn't this Emil's place? Where they're having their event? Isn't that the same? And Lady Thor? It's yes, the... she just sucks. Okay, and I'm yes. not just saying that because she's a female. I would have the exact same criticisms if she was a male. <laughs> Come on, talk to them. I created Intelligentsia. Oh, that tracks. I'm Hulk King. That makes perfect sense. My God. Oh, oh come on. I would like it's to literally there. Special guest speaker. He cost a ton, so you better cheer. Give it up. For the abomination! <laughs> Todd, what are you doing here? Actually, I, I don't care. Emil, you've been transforming into the abomination. Uh, yeah, I do speaking engagements. Nothing bad, strictly for profit. I vouched for you. Jenna, I'm sorry. He doesn't even upset. know who this is! Is there a real apology in there somewhere? That he I doesn't know? even know who this group is. What? No what, what you... oh, Won't bro, this just bro. kill him at some point, though? Like, wasn't that the whole point so that it worked with Jen because they had similar blood? Like, no, he's actually on your side. He's on your side. What is even happening here? No. Uh 
No. What what happened? Hey, what, what do you think you're doing? This menu is not gonna stop me. This is still the show? I thought my I thought my Alright, let's see here. No, uh yeah, no. Ah, marvelous hub. That'll do. <laughs> What the hell is happening? I thought that my Disney Plus screwed up. What the hell, you guys? What kind of stupid finale <laughs> is this? Uh, we thought it'd be really cool and like unexpected. Yeah, like fun and kind of a, kind of a twist. A twist. Yeah. A twist. The bad guy steals my blood in order to give himself superpowers. Where did you come up with that original yeah, that's not, idea? Not... Was that from every other superhero? Story? <laughs> okay, there are certain things that are supposed to happen. In a superhero story. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hello, Jennifer. Kevin? It stands for Knowledge Enhanced Visual Entertainment. They're saying Nessa. he's not even a real person. Were you expecting a man? Yeah. yeah. Why would I expect a giant a brain and not a man? Wait, so you're the one who's making all the decisions? Oh. Here? I will answer your question. Some are better than others, but I leave that debate up to the internet. Well, this is the most Kevin, meta thing that the MCU could. My story. You do not get to choose. Why not? It's my show. Incorrect. It's K E V I N's show. <laughs> well, I've got you here. Oh wait, you are sitting. What's <laughs> with all the daddy issues? We got Tony Stark, daddy issues. Jen. Thor, daddy issues. Loki, same daddy, same issues. Oh boy. Star Lord, two daddies, two issues. Oh my God. Jen, please stop. Oh, and when are we getting the X Men? Yes! I cannot tell you that. Okay, back to She-Hulk. When are we getting the X-Men? The, the, the thrilling ending Kevin formulated. Well, yeah, that's what Hulks do. We smash things. Bruce smashes buildings, I smash fourth walls, and bad ending. And sometimes Matt Murdock. Oh, okay. my God. Now get back to the show. See you on the big screen. <laughs> this is exactly how the show... What? I just dropped hey, Daredevil in. Hey, Daredevil. You missed it. We're done. Sorry. Everything? Oh, man. It was great, though. And I'm... Happy to see you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, happy to see you too. Okay. Oh my God, did they hook up again? <laughs> Thing? <laughs> yeah, let's take it down a notch, bug. See, comic price I pay for my. Oh entrance. my God. Well, maybe you can write some haikus about it. All right, Blasky. Is that okay? Awesome. Can't wait to read them. Oh my God. Um, uh, Jen, I could use a whole council here. Gotcha. Welcome to my life. <laughs> hey everyone. There's Bruce. See, this is a different way to make it. Someone here that I'd like you all to meet. This is my son, Scar. Wow, you're a family. We're really in an era of. Pink oh my TV. God. Do you have all your things? Yeah. What's the guest policy at Carpetage? Um, it's shared fridge. We're kind of all one with everything. Family. What about Wi-Fi? So yeah, he's, Wi he's bringing him with him. That's his apology, right? <laughs> oh my god. Alright. So there we have it. That was the conclusion of season one of She-Hulk. And I actually think that was great as a conclusion. Like, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I actually was halfway through kind of feeling the way that that Jen was was describing and what she was saying about the ending and the direction it looked like it was going. Not at first, okay, even though it seemed predictable. You know, I'd been talking all season about how clearly whoever this group was wanted to get Jen's blood um, for whatever their purposes was, and my assumption being that they wanted to use it to try and create another super person, um, because like she says later, that is not a new storyline. I had assumed of course that the incel group that was behind what happened to her um, at her awards dinner was involved with it in some way and i had assumed that blonsky was somehow going to come back and be involved though i was hoping that he wouldn't because i liked the direction they went with this character and jen and their kind of relationship so I wasn't really surprised and I was like, I was enjoying the the pug can't stand those guys sort of dynamic and the fact that that actual asshole was the one behind it made perfect sense and worked really well. And so I actually even liked, they, they bring out Blonsky as Abomination and it turns out 
that he didn't even know who the group was. He thought he was just making money by being a motivational speaker as abomination for people in different groups who hired him. So he was, yeah, he was involved, but not intentionally. So he wasn't intentionally trying to screw over Jen or like become a super villain again. He was just stupidly trying to make money off of his motivational insanity, um, which is interesting, but it's definitely a better way for them to go, in my opinion, than just him actually being villainous, because I liked the dynamic with him and Jen that they had worked out. Um, but from that point on, then things started to get not cool, because of course Todd transforms, and that wouldn't have even made any sense in context. I mean, I guess, like I said, if Jen's blood had somehow made it so that it wouldn't be toxic to him, I don't know, but the idea that anybody can just take some of her blood or Bruce's blood and easily make a potion to transform them into a Hulk. No, I mean, they've done this storyline before, but had it be like super villains with huge labs at their disposal, that I mean, I guess he had money, but I don't know. Point being, I did think that was pretty stupid. And that they were basically going to have it that it looked as though they were having as though Abomination was fighting him off and protecting Jen. And then Bruce shows up out of nowhere when he's been gone the whole season. He just suddenly drops in, even though he has no idea what's going on in the middle of this battle. And like she said, the Titania thing, I was, I was de definitely very much thinking, okay, what the fuck is this? And that it was basically going to end up in a weird fight showdown. So when she broke the fourth wall in the most extreme way that she has yet, and I realized what was happening, I was actually extremely happy about it. Not just because I wouldn't have wanted that to be the ending of the season, but because this is a She-Hulk thing, right? Like she's done this sort of thing in comics too. So, and it gives a huge payoff to the breaking of the fourth wall stuff we've seen throughout the season, because that's something that I've kept asking, you know, what is the motivation behind it, the purpose behind it, is there a larger goal? And there definitely was here, and it was a whole meta critique of Marvel movies and the MCU in general based on criticisms that a lot of people have had about it, and trying to indicate that, yes, we are going to try and do different things and not just follow the same formula that seems as though it was written by artificial intelligence for every single project we have going forward. Um, which is pretty, pretty funny and cool. And I mean, it was pretty funny then that so she basically writes her own ending and she's like, this is an ending, a different type of ending that definitely wouldn't fit with the AI thinks that people want or the stereotypical superhero mold. And it's that she finds out what's happening because she came out to Blonsky's retreat and they stupidly hired Blonsky to give a talk at his place <laughs> and he didn't realize who it was. So that coincidence happens, but she finds out and then basically what happens? She chides Blonsky for what he's been doing. He feels ashamed and is accepting the consequences, at least temporarily, to have to go back to prison. He's like, you're right. I shouldn't have been so out for so much money. And I shouldn't have been transforming into abomination and breaking my parole. And I see the kind of people I got involved in and what that could do. Like he took responsibility, which actually does align with what his character was supposedly like at this point. So I like that and, and shows a positivity with his relationship with Jed, even though they also did give us a little Wong at the end to kind of give him an out too, so we don't feel too terrible about him being <laughs> locked up. Um, and basically the super blood plot doesn't work like it shouldn't, and Todd just gets in trouble and gets arrested and sued, and Jed has a positive resolution where she is shown to have not been responsible for all of the horrible shit that happened to her, um, without a huge battle climax. But I do think it's funny that they did just drop Daredevil in there for her. And she's like, oh, yes, glad to see you. So that instead he could go to a family barbecue. And this was definitely a better surprise way for Bruce to just show up. 
because that's how it would really happen, right? It's not like he would coincidentally just show up in the nick of time right at the scene of a conflict where she was in need of help against other super-powered individuals. No, he would come back at some point and just be like, Hey, I'm home! The sun thing, definitely. So, I guess, okay. That gives an explanation, sort of, for why he was in space. So, presumably, he got some alien woman pregnant while he was out there, and he went back to get his son. So, now there's, there is another Hulk. Huge question of, uh, what exactly is going to be happening with that character in the future. Um, but so, so like they said, they got to do their little link to future stuff, but without making it completely detracting from her story. So I like that. So I think that was really well done. And I, it, it was a good critique of the MCU as a whole. Um, it was a much better ending for this series in particular. I kind of get the feeling that it's saying that like what they said that we'll see you in the movies, but she's not getting her own movie. So maybe it means that Bruce is getting his own movie or just another movie. Who knows? But but yeah, that actually was a satisfying conclusion to the season for me. And I was really curious how they were going to do a satisfying conclusion to the season. So I'm happy about that. I hope we get to see more Daredevil and She-Hulk, more Matt and Jen stuff in future projects, whether it's another season of this or anything else in the MCU. Um, but yeah, that was crazy and I liked it. So, but I'd like to hear you guys' thoughts as well. So please do let me know how you feel about the season finale and the first season of She-Hulk as a whole. Thank you guys so much for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.